Hi guys, and welcome back to another art video. So, I bought a set of Reeve squash for $9.99 at Michael's. You'll have seen it in the little haul I did a few uh, weeks ago. It might have been a few weeks by now. Um, but I bought a set of gouache that was $10 at Michael's. It could be less expensive if you use the coupons that they always have. Um, but I just really wanted to try it out because I have seen other people use gouache and I like the painterly technique you can get with it, but I know you can also use it like watercolor and get a transparent kind of wash. So I decided to get some and that I would test it out for a video. So that's what this is. So the first thing you'll see is a card that I made my teacher and I thought I would just include this because this was my actual first experience with gouache so I thought I it would be important to include this in my first impression gouache video thing. So after I finished the um, farewell card thing, I wanted to test out like a more practical use for gouache and so I made this sketchbook page in my moleskin sketchbook which I'm obsessed with. I like how the pages are like thick enough to handle watercolor even though it's not the ideal watercolor paper um, they do handle watercolor without like ruining the sketchbook um, but I just sketched out a few things. I sketched out a flower, uh, a character, a nose, and like a few shapes. I sketched an eye I think. And I just wanted to experiment with mixing colors and using a more watery technique versus using a more opaque technique, if that makes any sense. And so um, I, you'll see that I experimented with using ultramarine blue in like a skin tone. Sorry about that. <laughs> you'll see that I experimented using ultramarine blue with a skin tone, and I just think it makes it more interesting, in my opinion. And I think it looks more eye pleasing with that extra color in there um, but that's just my opinion because I really like the color ultramarine blue and then after I finished all of that thing um, I went with my Pentel brush pen I, I inked the title of the page which was gouache and then I outlined everything and I did a little bit of inking on the character as well as like the nose and things Also, I thought I'd just show you a quick clip of these paintings that I didn't record a video of, sadly. Okay, so now finally getting on to the finished piece, um, I'll just go ahead and tell you all of the supplies and everything and uh, the techniques that I used before I get into what the piece is. So I did this on Strathmore for 400, 300 series watercolor paper. Um, it's the one that's in the yellow uh, pad. <laughs> um, and I taped it down for so that it doesn't warp. I normally do that with my paintings. Um, a lot of people uh, do stretching, but I feel like as long as you tape it down, I haven't gotten much warping. And I use a lot of like water usually, and it doesn't warp a whole bunch. As long as you have like 140 paper watercolor, 140 pound watercolor paper, um, it doesn't warp much for me with just taping it down. And um, as a background for this, I just use the two Winsor & Newton watercolor markers I have, and that is Quinacridon, Magenta, and Turquoise, and I just laid those down and um, just kind of played around with spreading them across the page and like blending them together. 
And then after I was finished with that, I just sketched directly onto the watercolor paper and I wasn't too sure about what I was going for at first. I know I wanted a profile because I've been practicing profiles lately and I just wanted to draw a profile. Um, and it turned into uh, what you'll be seeing on the video, I guess. Um, but yeah, I just it just started out as a sketch of somebody from a profile view and then I added a crown and now curly hair I really like how it turned out actually so after I had all the sketch and everything um, I you'll see that I added a little bit of ultramarine as an underpainting for the skin and then I um, went over it with very opaque gouache and I cut out a little bit of the coloring for the skin because it's just a bunch of me like layering over what I've already done and it's just a lot of like playing around with getting it exa exactly right so <laughs> I didn't think it was that interesting so I just cut out a lot of that. So for the hair, I started with a light um, layer of gouache and I mixed, at first I was going to make her blonde so you'll see I added some yellow, but then after I decided that I didn't want to do that, I felt like dark hair would um, suit her more because I was it was supposed to be like a mean prissy character, I guess, and I'm, I didn't mean to offend like dark haired people. I have dark hair. I'm not mean, I hope. Anyway, I just felt like the dark hair suited the personality of the picture more. And so I just started with like a light layer of a grayish brown and that was going to be like the base color and then after that I went over it with Indian ink because I couldn't get a very dark black from gouache. I guess that's one downside to it because it's like chalky when it dries. I couldn't get a super dark black like I wanted and so I had to use my Indian ink for that but I'm sure if you got higher quality gouache it might work better um, I'm gonna have to get a new white pretty soon because I used up a lot of it um, since that's also another problem with gouache is if you use it um, like an opaque technique with it and just like paint straight with the gouache almost it does you use up a lot of paint so that's something to consider And finally, I went ahead and did the crown and the shirt. Um, the shirt wasn't, uh, it's just a plain white shirt because I didn't want to uh, do something that interesting because I really didn't think that was an important part of the composition. And the crown, I used uh, a more watered down technique with the gouache, like I used it more like you would use watercolor, I guess. And I started with a yellow and then I used like some yellow ochre mixed with some reds and then eventually I used like uh, a burnt sienna very lightly over the top to give it kind of a metallic thing. But then as usual after I finish the crown I always go and add in some highlights with my white gel pen and I'm using the Uniball Signo white gel pen which 
I like better than Jelly Roll, actually. I don't actually, I'm gonna take that back. I don't know if I like it better than Jelly Roll, but my Jelly Roll was out of ink. I had it for like over a year and I used it way too freq frequently and it was running out of ink. And so this was a good solution to that. I just decided to get something new for a change, I guess. <laughs> So I hope you guys liked this video a super whole lot. I had a lot of fun making it and I know it's a new format, which I kind of like. It's kind of like an educational type format. It's not really educational, but you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys liked it. And as always, my social media things are right here, but now I can add annotations. So that's a fun thing. Hopefully soup future me will remember that. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.